So what I want to impart with you guys today, you know, ladies and gents, is just a few tips on how to net you. Now when we come into a room like this, and uh, I met Tim, <coughs> Tim, you know, it's about someone struggling with a tea and coffee. Struggling with a tea and coffee, and it's fantastic to have my group. Yeah, yeah always help me with that machine, and it's amazing. But when you come into a, an area and networking, a good tip for you is stand by the tea and coffee. And say to someone, what's that? Tea, coffee, milk, sugar? And I'll give you an example of that. I went to Manchester a few years ago, supporting another event. And all my team and uh, staff, they said, oh, can we borrow them to help out and such? And I said, yeah, what's up? And I was like, probably the ugliest one there. Like, so I'm standing there thinking, well, what else am I supposed to do? Yeah? So I stood by the tea and coffee. It was, in, it was a launch of the new Jaguar at the time, so it was packed. There were like 150 local Manchester <coughs> You're from Manchester, aren't you? You're a twin there. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, I got it wrong then. Wrong side of the river. And my wife's on the world, so I should have got that right. <laughs> yeah. But ultimately, it's a closed community. You know, a bit like Birmingham can be sometimes. You can get in the wrong circles, like everyone's like, Terry, you know, I'm a brummie, you know, don't talk to me. It's the same way. I'm Birmingham, they're Manchester. But do you know what? I stood by the tea and coffee for a good 30 minutes. Asking people tea and coffee, tea and coffee, milk sugar, milk sugar, tea and coffee. Um, and some chap, you know, fair play to him, he said, I thought you were the tea boy. <laughs> I said, you know what, I can be anything you want me to be if it means I get your business.